Hey guys, welcome to another day on the shop. Today, we're gonna be working on the old expedition again. Uh. Well, an update on this thing is we changed out the flex plate back to an original flex plate. Don't have any issues with that. But as soon as I did that, I don't know if the torque converter oil was low, the transmission oil was low, I was having a whining sound while I was driving and whatnot. Uh, so I added more fluid, sound went away. I had too much fluid, it spewed out a little bit, but it's been shuddering before then. So in overdrive and other gears, it's been, dogs, it's been shuddering a lot lately. So I decided I'm gonna do a transmission oil filter and fluid change. That's what we're here for today. So we're gonna lift this thing up and get up under there and see what is going on. We're gonna do a voiceover due to the fact of the rain got pretty bad at this point and in a metal building, it gets loud. So we're looking under the transmission. There's 28 millimeter bolts. The best way to take these out is by using a quarter inch drive ratchet with an extension and a swivel head and an eight millimeter socket. I took 17 bolts out, leaving two on the sides and the rear tight and one up front. I slowly listened, loosened the rear bolts to let the fluid drain out the back. The advantage I had was I lifted the front of the vehicle up, jack stands, and as we lower the pan, empty all the fluid out, we begin looking at the magnet in the back of the pan and begin cleaning the magnet, making sure there's not excess metal all over it, as well as we clean the pan out to make sure there's no debris or any other particles in the pan as we're going to be filling it up with new fluid and a new filter. So all this was pretty nasty, but wasn't too bad. So everything got cleaned, cleaned the gasket, the gasket is reusable. Uh, and then we began to get ready to put everything back in. As we put it back in, we used a shutter eliminator, which you can check out in the link in the description below, as well as we used uh, almost nine and a half quarts of LV fluid that is recommended that replaces the SP fluid. So we get up under the car and we notice that the old o-ring from the old filter is still stuck in there and i had to pull it out make sure you get that it has to seal correctly you also have to make sure it's super dry in that little inlet for the um o-ring and the gasket itself so clean everything up with brake cleaner wipe it all down and then once you replace it back in there, the shutter eliminator was already put in the pan to make it to where it was a little bit easier to put the fluid in the pan. As I went around, I went around twice with this uh, quarter inch wrench and eight millimeter socket. And I tightened everything down a little bit more than hand tight uh, on both rounds to make sure it was really secure. Everything is secure now. And once you do that you have to refill the fluid and since it does not have an actual dipstick the dipstick or slash fluid level checker i'll call it is on the passenger side on the front side of the transmission you use a 19 millimeter or a three quarter inch wrench to loosen the cap that holds the dipstick in and pull it out Start putting transmission fluid in. I used a transfer, a hand transfer pump from Harbor Freight, which made it really easy. But I did run into an issue at the point of starting the vehicle, letting it run, and burnt some of my hose. As you're adding fluid, you need to make sure the vehicle is level. I decided to jack up the rear, put some jack stands up under it, and put a level on the uh, vehicle itself to make sure that it was even from front to back to make sure I get the most accurate reading for the transmission level. So after doing this, I cranked the vehicle and ran through the gears to make sure that the gears were getting adequate fluid. 
After rolling through the gears the first time, I added more fluid to top it off and make sure that I had enough fluid uh, that met the dipstick level that I was needing. Well, we got it done. It's loud in here because of the rain. That's why we did a voiceover. Got a big mess, big mess, but it worked out because it uh, got rid of a shutter that I have, and uh, or at least it sounds like it. So I'm gonna take it for a test drive now, but it took almost nine and a half quarts to refill this. And like I showed, you have to have this thing level to check it and about 140 degrees. So, um, Yeah, it's difficult whenever you're on your back because of the exhaust. I did burn some of my uh, tubing because it was touching the exhaust uh, whenever I started the car up and let it run for a little bit, hoping that I could just refill it as I went and it burned my hose a little bit. Oh well. But uh, like I said, I'm going to take this for a test drive in the rain and hopefully uh, what I did with all the stuff I put in, which... Uh, I didn't mention it, but oh, shutter eliminator right there. Put uh, that in there and then uh, put almost nine and a half quarts of uh, Valvoline Dextron 6 uh, Mercon LV. Apparently the LV is the uh, replacement for the SP and uh, it's cheaper than the actual SP. So take that how you want it. I did use a Motorcraft uh, filter, and that took less than an hour, give or take, just because I kept stopping it. I kept trying to keep this place clean, and I'm videoing for y'all. So, yeah. Hopefully this fixes it. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me take it for a test drive, and we'll see. I'll let you know. Well, it's not in here anymore. So that means test drive went well. No more shuttering. No more uh, feeling like the transmission is slipping. No more random noises or vibrations. It worked out really well. This uh, fluid was extremely brown all in there. So uh, if you haven't changed your fluids in your uh, Ford or Expedition or whatever else or anything else, be mindful. It wears out. and. Just changing the fluid can prolong the life of it as well as the clutches and everything else. So, yeah, accomplished. So if you like this kind of content, give me a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want for more content because there's always something broken on my channel. And uh, yeah, check out Teespring or anything else in the description below. If you're looking for uh, either merchandise or you're look looking for what I used in this video so yeah. i want to thank you for joining in to another episode of the shop until next time